And we are back again with yet another Glow Attic Beauty Box unboxing for the month of April. This is my very last one, I promise. But they did send them to me and I thought it would be a great opportunity to kind of show you guys what you guys can get if you sign up for the Glow Attic Beauty Box, regardless of what tier it is. So if you haven't checked out the last two videos, I unboxed the beauty bag, which retails for $13.99 a month. I also unboxed the beauty box, which retails for $18.99 a month. And that'll be linked down below as well as up here somewhere in the corner, up in the quinita, right? But this one is their XL box. It goes for $34.99 every single month and you're gonna get seven to eight beauty items. So let's dive on in and see what is inside this baby over here. Okay, here we go. She's open. I did get a palette, but it's not one of the Millennial Butte ones. Let me set this to the side and let me just show you guys like, what else I have going on in here? Oh, I got another Derma E product. I'm excited. This is their Skin Distress Calming CBD Cleanser. My face is clean, y'all know. Before I get in front of the camera, I make sure like I clean all of this up and make sure there's no residual makeup from like the night before, like mascara and stuff. So I will not be using this on camera, but I'm gonna smell it for you guys really quickly. Hold on, <laughs> where can I put this? My keyboard is right in front of me. All right, let's smell this baby. I think it's unscented. It doesn't smell like much of anything and it says it has CBD relief. Hemp seed oil calming complex with pie cola. I'll put all of that here on screen, but I wanna show you guys what Le Producto looks like. And I really like that it has like a pump. It makes it so much easier to actually access the product inside of the bottle. The next item is another hemp product. This over here. Okay, so someone said, why don't I call hemp what it is, M? A R marriage one, right? I don't, I just don't like tend to curse on my channel. I tend not to mention these kind of things on my channel because people do watch with their children. So I want to be as respectful towards others the way people are towards me. I don't like watching channels where there's a lot of cursing um, because I don't feel like I need to hide from my child in order to enjoy anything on social media. So if there's a lot of cursing, then I X uh, out of it because I do enough of that cursing on my own at home. You know what I mean? So I try to avoid putting that out there on social media and things like the marijuana. You know, I just don't want that on my channel like that. I don't mind mentioning CBD because it is derived from CBD. It's, it's a whole thing, research it, it's a whole thing, but technically it's not the marijuana, it's, it's actually um, hemp. But anyway, so this is the Dr. Botanicals Hemp Infused Natural Nutrition Moisturizer. I don't have moisturizer on my skin right now. So I'm, I'm gonna dive in and try this because my understanding is there's nothing wrong towards like the end of your pregnancy using items like this and we're due soon, sooner than we think. So I'll go ahead and try this baby out. You know, let's put it on now so that my skin can start absorbing it and doing its thing. Okay, so it's like green, not poo poo green. <laughs> it's green, not poo poo. Oh, that was too much. No, 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 go back in. Kind of smells like an essential oil in a way. Very green, but not that kind of green. You know what I mean. Feels nice. Feels very moisturizing. And my skin is absorbing it really quickly, which is great, because I don't like that sticky, weird feeling on the skin when it just stays. That's kind of like annoying to me. I've never heard of this, but it's different. Um, I don't think I'll use this, being realistic, because I'm already 10, you know, being that I wear a lot of makeup and stuff, the last thing I need is for my skin to change colors. But Millennial Butte has created a Sea Breeze CBD self tanning drops. Ooh, I think that the label is so light. It's like light, light. I mean, I'm having a hard time reading it. You're getting 50 milligrams of, it has 50 milligrams of CBD. I thought it was 50 milligrams of the actual tanning drops. I won't be using this, but I will smell this. Oh, why is it so dark? It smells fruity, but look how dark it is. I mean, okay, I'll see if someone I know wants to try it because of course I'm not going to, but it smells fruit, like sweet, like strawberries, I think. Is it strawberries or is it peaches? I'm not sure, but it smells really nice. It includes another Millennial Butte products and it is their Happy Hour Vitamin C Serum Plus CBD. So all of these things kind of have CBD in it. There's a theme going on. I don't live in that world, so I wouldn't be able to tell you what the theme is, but notice, so far everything I've showed you, <laughs> CBD. And here we have yet another one, CBD related. And it is a hemp leaf 
Multi repair facial mask. I received one in the last box that I did, the beauty box, and I unboxed it. I didn't get around to trying it, so I wouldn't be able to tell you whether or not it's amazing or not. I filmed that yesterday, and I was so tired, girl, that I even left like lash glue and like some of that glitter up on my lids. So when I got in the shower earlier, I made sure that I got all of that off because I was just too exhausted to really put like the effort in. But now I have two of these. And like I mentioned, I like receiving masks regardless of the kind of mask, as long as it's not like gonna hurt my skin. But I like receiving the masks because I can just grab one and pamper myself. And now in this house, we, we, we made sure we had a tub for me, for me. So that I can soak with candles and bath bombs and that kind of thing. So this would be amazing for that. Then they included a lash curler, but the packaging is all buttered. Like, ¿qué pasó? What happened here? It says Beauty Tools by Kala. So the brand is Kala Beauty. Perfect curl eyelash curler. I'm just showing you exactly how she arrived. She looked like this, and she's like, and then there's a replacement. This is actually pretty cool. I'm gonna open it. I might use this because I think it's time to replace my lash curler. Oh, I like that your fingers don't need to fit into it because the last thing I need is for my fingers to get stuck in the little loop. And then last but not least, I received an eyeshadow palette. It looks like the Millennial Butte ones, but it's not. This is Orange Pop by Cara Builder. We're gonna open her up. It came with like, dear your packaging, like, it has a slip cover, but it also has like this clear wrap. Oh, okay. Yesterday's video, like the eyeshadow palette was so appropriate for the top that I had on. It just like the vibes, it, the, the, it, it was all vibes, right? So now I'm looking at this and I'm like, yeah, I mean, you know, again, I'm working with what I have and that I, that actually fits me right now. And so when I opened it up, can you see that? Whatever I do with this is totally gonna match my t-shirt. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. So everything works out and it's freaking awesome. So this is what the palette looks like. I'm gonna swatch. I think I'm gonna avoid glitters today. I had enough of the glitters stuck all over my face because I ended up not taking them all off last night, but that looks really nice. So, ooh, chocolate over here. Okay, so um, we're gonna go ahead, prep the lids, prime them, and we're gonna dive on in and play around with this eyeshadow palette. All right, I cleaned a few brushes, so we're ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Moon Rocks. It's a light coffee color. And we're gonna add that onto the crease real quickly. This is a concealer I've been using to like prime my lids. I grabbed an eyeshadow brush and we're gonna go into Torch, which is this bright yellow. We're gonna pop this all over the lid, but we're gonna bring it kind of like halfway. Okay, this is a really nice yellow. I'm patting it in place. That way I get as much vibrancy out of this color as possible. Um, oh, this comes, <laughs> I was leaning forward and didn't even realize this comes with a mirror. So let's see. It seems maybe a little, just a very like smidge on the patchy side. Nothing that we can't work around, but it's definitely not as opaque as the Millennial Butte ones for sure. The formulas are different. Grabbing a different brush, I'm gonna go into red eyes because why not? And I'm, 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 I've got some red on my Jurassic Park t-shirt and some yellow, so we're gonna, we're gonna play around with these type of colors. I'm gonna tap out because this is gonna go on the outer corner. <gasps> okay, girl, this, this, um, this red is really red and I'm not mad at it. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit. I'm gonna go in with the brush that I initially used for the crease and we're gonna blend that up. I wanna add the smallest amount of warmth on this outer portion of the eye. So I'm gonna go in to the shade Cannabis. It is a nice little bright orange. I'm gonna tap out and I'm just gonna dust that out here just slightly. And we're gonna blend it out. We're not gonna overdo it. We're just gonna blend this baby out. And just to deepen it up a little bit, I'm gonna go in to the shade Dank with the tip of this brush, and I am slowly going to apply it like out here. So as you can see, we're just tapping that shade in this area, and then I'm gonna go in with one of the other brushes that have like a little bit of the red and the orange in it, and we're just gonna blend that out slightly. I don't wanna over blend, so I'm holding the brush from the end of its handle. 
Now it's time to try out this curler. Let's see how she works. I can appreciate a new curler every few months because mine gets really funky and weird. Let me grab a mirror and do this nice up close and personal up in here so I can see exactly what I'm curling and how much I'm curling. Curler works. I mean, it's hard to find a curler that doesn't work unless it's like really like poorly made. And then I'm gonna go in with some mascara because I wanna see like my lashes normally go down. They're long, they just go down. So now that I've curled them, I wanna see how this curler helps my lashes transform with some mascara because I kind of don't wanna wear lashes today, like falsies. So let's apply, oh, if you're wondering, this is the Ofra HD Volumizing Mascara Gel, the mascara. Um, we're gonna go ahead and add two coats of this on the eye and we're gonna see what difference it makes. The lash curler clearly did its job. This is what she looks like curled up and everything. You see like my lashes are just kinda like, you know, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this side, finish up the face and I'll be right back. And this is how the completed look turned out. I wanted to put everything together so you guys would get an idea as to what it could look like once you have like your concealer, a base. I don't have foundation. I've been doing my no foundation makeup routine just because, I don't know, like I like, I like the feeling of it. I still feel very natural, you know? You can still see my little like freckles I have. I have like a little Bermuda Triangle situation going on here and all that stuff. So I've been liking the look of the no foundation makeup look and I think I think it turned out really, really nice. So let me know down below what do you guys think. How do you guys feel about this box? How do you guys feel about the Derma E products featured in all three tiers? And let me know what you think the standout product out of this box is. I only was able to use three today. However, I still think this was a really nice box and I have zero complaints about either of the three products that I tried. So chime in down below, give me all your thoughts and feedback, be ready. We have a boxy trauma unboxing coming your way. Yes, me and Ty Ty, Ty Ty and I, that's the proper way to say it. Ty Ty and I will be unboxing base boxes next. And that is a wrap up for this video. Make sure you check out the videos that are coming here on screen. There are more unboxing tutorials, how to's and all that good stuff. I know you guys are gonna absolutely love and I'll see you guys later.